Hi Year 10s, my name is Mrs Hilsden and I'm the Hod of Technologies. These are a group of subjects which are based on learning through doing. So if you like to learn by involvement in practical experiences, then you need to listen to the information from the teachers in this faculty. If you are university bound, then we also have an ATAR subject that you might be interested in. You will hear shortly from the subject teachers associated with the trade courses of furnishing skills, building and construction, automotive and industrial graphics. You will also hear about the applied subject of digital, digital technologies and I will also talk to you about engineering pathways. The first applied subject I want to give you some information is from industrial graphics skills. And this course is about producing the technical drawings used in a variety of industries, such as the building and construction industry, engineering and furnishing. It is all about developing the knowledge and understanding and the technical skills associated with manufacturing. You learn about industry practices, how to interpret technical information and drawings, how to produce the technical drawings, and you also learn how to evaluate drawings using specifications. The assessment involves projects and practical demonstrations, which largely involve producing a range of detailed technical drawings. Studying this subject can establish a basis for further education and employment in a range of roles and trades in the manufacturing industries, such as an architectural drafter, mechanical drafter, a survey drafter, and a structural drafter. This subject provides a new unique opportunity for students to experience a challenge and personal satisfaction in producing technical drawings. So if you're interested in this area, for a career, this is worth your consideration. It is desirable that you've studied and passed graphics in year 10, but we would still consider students who have not studied it previously, but that are prepared to commit to the learning required. Hi, my name is Mr Joyce, and I'm one of the automotive teachers here at Oakey State High School. The type of student that we are looking for to join our subject is one who likes to work with their hands and has an interest in the automotive industry. During the two year course, Students will learn how to wire up a trailer and a car stereo. They will also pull apart and put back together components such as suspension systems and engine components, and also learn about basic engineering and fabrication processes. This subject is a pathway to career options such as a car mechanic, a diesel fitter, panel beater, and automotive engineer. Assessment will be done through practical demonstrations and projects. Hi guys, Clayton Phil, uh, one of the ITD teachers here at Oakey, uh, currently looking after the furnishing skills down in the furnishing department. But, um, we look at the finer things that we want to create out of wood. So clocks, tables, chairs, things like that, entertainment cabinets and bathroom cabinets. Um, this can get you into careers of around the cabinet making, glass, uh, glazier industry, furniture building and upholstery industry. Paperwork I'm not really heavy on, but we do have to do it. But I'm, um, but I do like building stuff. That's the biggest thing for me. But there is paperwork that you will have to complete through the year. Before you get into us, it'll be good to give a year nine, ten ITD subject to get a little bit of knowledge behind you. But it's not overly essential. But come on in, enjoy, and have fun. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mr. Joyce, and I'm one of the construction teachers here at Oakey State High School. The type of students that we are looking for to join our subject are ones who like to make things with their hands and have an interest in the construction industry. There are two strands to the construction course that we have on offer here at Oakey State High. These are Certificate 1 in Construction and Building and Construction Skills. Both of these courses will allow you to develop skills that are, make you job ready for the industry. Careers in the construction industry can include such as Carpenter, Builder, cabinet maker and architect. Assessment will be done through practical demonstrations and projects, plus a commitment to online learning modules. The VET course called Certificate 2 in Engineering Pathways will now be run over three lessons a week. It is no longer a full day program. It is still being delivered in partnership with an outside provider, Blue Dog Training. And if you achieve competencies with all the units, you will still receive a nationally recognised certificate. 
Units studied include workplace health and safety in the work environment, working with hand and power tools, computing technology, welding, working in teams and assembling engineering mechanisms. Yes, there's a lot of practical work, but there is an extensive online theoretical requirement to achieve competency in the subject and you must be committed to the completion of these units. Now, is this a subject for you? Obviously, if this is your interest area, if you have liked and done well in the metal side of Year 10 ITD, or you are hoping to work in an occupation featuring engineering, then yes, this course gives you an advantage and this is a subject for you. This is what is called a VETUS funded subject, so it cannot be studied with any other VETUS funded certificate courses. And you can talk to Ms. Mrs. Dar or Mr. O'Connell if you need more information about this. For any more specific information on industrial graphics or engineering pathways, make sure you talk to Mr. Thomas in the Trade Training Centre. Hi, my name's Hannah Mouncey or Miss Mouncey and I am the ICT teacher here at Oakey High. In year 11 and 12, we have a fantastic program and we use all state-of-the-art programs run by Adobe. In year 11 and 12, you'll learn about graphic design. You'll have projects where you produce magazines or even movie posters. You'll also look at graphic design in terms of website design and build websites. Module three in year 11 and 12 is our mo mobile applications module. So you'll learn how to create a mobile application and have the opportunity to do one yourself. We also have a large gaming component and you'll be producing your own platform game. We have two types of assessment in year 11 and 12. There's the extended response and also the project. We're heavily project based. So for everything you do, you'll be creating a product of some sort. The only prerequisites to do ICT in year 11 and 12 is that you pass English and maths in year 10. Now I want to tell you about the wonderful academic subject of food and nutrition and it is a brand new course centered on learning about food and solving real life problems associated with food. It involves us looking at the food system from production right through to consumption it is all about understanding the nutritional benefits of foods. We do lots of food science experiments to learn what happens to food if we apply heat or add an acid or other ingredients or dry them. Have you ever heard of aquifer bar? It is a liquid from a can of chickpeas and if you beat it up, you can actually make a pavlova, just like an egg pavlova. We also investigate new food trends such as the cultivation of insects as a food source. We also look at bush foods and growing meat in a test tube. And we do lots of sensory profiling of foods to evaluate appearance, taste, texture, as we consider design solutions. It is not, however, about cooking meals each week to take home. It is a safe subject and you are required to work at an academic level. It is also a requirement that you have a, a solid C plus in year 10 English because there is a writing component of this assessment. Two assessment items per unit are undertake, undertaken. They are a project folio and an exam. But if you have an interest in discovering the wonders of foods and their functional abilities, doing practical work to predict outcomes then yes, you should be considering this is a subject for you. It can lead to employment or tertiary education in the areas of food science, technology, education and health. Well, hi students, it's Mrs Ray from Oakstead High School. I'm the hospitality teacher at Oakey. We deliver a certificate too in hospitality and it's studied over a two year period. We end up that it's a nationally accredited, accredited course. So if you complete units of competency here at Oakey State High School, like safety or use of equipment, um, espresso coffee, all of those will be credited towards a traineeship or an apprenticeship if you continue on 
at TAFE or another registered training organisation. OKI is a registered training organisation and to achieve that we have to have staff that have industry qualifications. So I, can't, I have, I'm a qualified chef and I have my certificate three in hospitality front of house. So when you're completing your units, they're transferable to any other qualification in, in hospitality. So it gives you a pathway to a future. All right, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, it also, if you complete your 12 units of competency, you get four QCE points. So that's a real bonus. If you only do six out of the 12, you get two. So the maths is there for you. All right, so it's really beneficial. Now, to complete your certificate too, we've got some pictures here of students that have worked in the community um, because we end up that we cover back of house skills in year 11, where students learn to cook and prepare and plate up food like finger foods, sandwiches, entrees, main meals, and even some desserts or sweets. But yes, it does mean that when you cook, you have to clean up. All right, so cleaning is one of the units also that is in our Cert 2. Right, in Year 12, we focus on food and beverage service, where you get to make mocktails, espresso coffee, hot chocolates, and you end up that you have to be willing to serve those to customers. Um, in the event, you know, you don't think you like people, you don't always have to talk a lot when you go and they want good service and good product. All right, so we, we got cookery skills in year 11 and um, food, and, food and beverage service in year 12. If you're going to do hospitality though, it's important that you realise at some stage you have to bring ingredients from home. On some occasion, other days we cook and serve food to people in the community, like if we're going to St Anne's at the Woolshed, we'll serve up to 200 people. All right, and some of these photos are showing the students in their uniforms and actually in service where we've set up tables for you know, up to 500 people at the cultural centre. So it's a really good opportunity to get out there and get experience that you know, you'll get certificates of appreciation from the organisations so you can take them with you for future employment or in your resume. Now, assessment is competency-based, competency which means that you have to demonstrate the skills to industry standard, and it's very hands-on. So when you're cooking or serving the food and beverages. You do have knowledge components to each of the units. They're open book for when you do your assessment, or some of them are delivered on an online um, platform and that gives you the opportunity to learn how to use those for future studies. All right, so we end up, you need to realise that you have an, a, an enjoyment for food and dealing with people so that you work as part of a team. All right, and that's what you can see here. Students working together, setting up tables, um, making milkshakes for 150 guests, um, you know, and cooking um, so that you're gaining industry standard skills. All right, so we'd love to have you join us um, for a certificate too in hospitality. Thank you.